Remarkably, the U.S. stock market is trading at one-year highs ahead of the Fed's policy meeting. Analysts have already reckoned the damage inflicted by the corona crisis to the global economy. Corporate debts of companies outside the financial sector have ballooned to $11 trillion. If the U.S. Fed ventures into rate hikes, the crisis of corporate debts could set the stage for a new economic crisis. Today, market participants got to know important economic data from the U.S. Retail sales in the U.S. contracted in May for the first time since February this year. Such a dynamic indicates that the corona crisis has not been resolved yet. Another worrisome sign is that the New York Empire State Manufacturing Index weakened unexpectedly in June. Such information is far from optimistic. Perhaps the market will reveal its response later today. In the American session on Monday, the S&P 500 is trading at 4,255 points. It is expected to trade in the corridor between 4,210 and 4,290 in the near time. The S&P 500 is likely to stall its growth tomorrow in light of the downbeat retail sales data and the New York Empire State Manufacturing Index. However, experts will come up with a long-term outlook after the Fed's policy update. The suspense ahead of the Fed's policy decisions did not prevent the U.S. currency to assert strength in confidence when closing last trading week. The greenback perked up following the U.S. inflation data. Let me remind you that consumer inflation in the U.S. surged 5% in May without prospects for further acceleration. It is common knowledge that bullish news for the U.S. stocks is bearish news for the U.S. dollar. Hence, the greenback is likely to lose steam after the Fed's policy announcement. Today, its index is trading at about 90.40. It is expected to hold in the corridor between 90.60 and 90.10. There is the likelihood that following the two-day policy meeting of the U.S. Fed, the U.S. dollar could advance across the board, including its Canadian rival. The dollar versus Canadian dollar pair could climb to 1.2200. Interestingly, the loonie has halted its growth even despite high oil prices. Nowadays, oil prices have recovered in full from the slump amid the corona crisis of the last year. Meanwhile, crude oil is heading for new highs. It seems the oil market has reached some balance in the current price levels. Today, the dollar versus Canadian dollar pair is trading at around 1.2130. The pair is expected to trade in the corridor of 1.2080 and 1.2180. After a long losing streak, Bitcoin has resumed its steady uptrend. The number one cryptocurrency jumped above $40,000 on the back of a new tweet by Elon Musk. The American entrepreneur shared the plans to accept payments for Tesla cars in Bitcoins again, though on some conditions. Miners should use 50% of clean energy. This encouraged crypto investors, so Bitcoin zoomed up to almost $40,250 per token. Nevertheless, the price could decline again to $39,500 due to some negative news. What are the prospects for the U.S. stock market? Judging by the previous week, investors are looking forward to a policy update by the U.S. Fed. Today, the policymakers are assembling for the two-day policy meeting. Will the regulator decide to raise the federal funds rate? What outlook for the U.S. economy will it unveil? We will find out about that tomorrow. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you back soon.